Bible reads, when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? Now, before I even go any further, I'm going to, you know, there, there's no coincidence why that, that these events are all happening when they do. So this first portion of John chapter 6 is a very famous passage of the feeding of the 5,000, right? It's a miraculous event that almost everybody who claims to be a Christian could, will probably be familiar with. It's a story that's preached on a lot and is taught a lot that, uh, you know, when Jesus fed the 5,000, that's one of the main miracles that, that he did that, that a lot of people remember. If you ask Jesus, you know, hey, what kind of miracles did Jesus do? Do you remember any miracles that Jesus did? Feeding the 5,000 is a pretty big one. You know, a lot of people have heard of it. But this is, um, the way that this is in the story, and then later on we see him claiming to be the bread of life, helps to give a more full understanding and meaning to what that whole miracle even meant to begin with, with him providing that food. So we're going to dig into this, we're going to see this event play out, and I'm going to expound on it a little bit. The Bible says, uh, so first he's saying, you know, there's a lot of people there, and he says unto Philip, he said, um, he says, Where, you know, whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? He asks Philip, saying, hey, there's all these people here. Where, where are we going to buy food so that everyone could eat with us? Right? Because they're out listening to him preach, and they've kind of gone out into a desert place, and there's nowhere around that's just real close or local. It's not like they're near a marketplace. So he's saying, hey, where, where are we going to go get food for all these people? Verse 6 says, and this he said to prove him. For he himself knew what he would do. I mean, he's asking this question. It doesn't like he doesn't know the answer, right? But he just wants to test Philip and just see what he's going to say and, and kind of hear what his answer is going to be. Uh, verse number seven, Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. So obviously there's so many people here. He's saying, there's a lot, there's a lot of people to feed. And he's saying, we would, you know, 200 penny worth is not enough. And now you could say 200 pennies, that's like two bucks, not a big deal. Well, until you figure that a penny in the Bible is about like a day's labor, right? That's, that's what people were um, bartering with, especially during the time of Jesus when he's making, you know, he's saying the story. So you think about, I mean, a day's labor, you're saying like maybe a hundred bucks. So, you know, 20 grand to feed all the people that were there. That's a little bit more what you're talking about, right? When he says 200 penny worth. So that's, that's quite a significant amount of money. And... Um, So it says in verse number eight, one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, there is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? So, yeah, we've got five loaves, two fishes, but you know, what's that going to do? Verse number 10 says, and Jesus said, make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. And that's 5,000 just men, but they were there still with women and little ones. So it was the, the whole group was bigger, but just for the accounting purposes, it was 5,000 men. Um, and then it says in verse 11, And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples and the disciples of them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments excuse me, that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, this is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. So a very significant event. Jesus physically is feeding these people here, but he's feeding them miraculously. He blesses this food and it's like they're passing out this food and they keep coming back and he keeps on passing out more food. And it's like, man, where's all this food coming from? And they had enough to fill everybody that was there and even to have some leftover. So everybody was, was completely satisfied that was there as a result of that food that Jesus brought in. And this was such a big deal in the people's eyes that were sitting there. Because look, in a group of that many people, I mean, that's a, that's a big crowd. There's going to be some people closer than others just because there's so many people there. But they're out in the wilderness. And you can see this from the other Gospels. Even the people, you know, sitting farther back, they're going to be like, where are they getting all this food from? Because <laughs> they didn't see him come in with it, and they didn't have some supply chain going back, and they didn't have some big storehouse out there. 
Everybody understood that this is a very significant miracle because they just keep on coming. I mean, just imagine that. You, you, if you're at some big, you know, I don't know how big some of these uh, event centers hold, but you're talking, you know, 10,000 people, right? Or more, probably more. If we say every, every man that was there had, a, you know, maybe a wife with them or someone else with them, and then, um, you know, a child, whatever. I mean, let's say, let's say very conservative, 10,000 people all being filled and with enough to spare, and they just keep on making the rounds, and then they go around the back. Like, everyone knows that's a miracle. Like, there's, like, where does this food come from? It's amazing. 